proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in. Right now we're gonna shoot the musket one round, and I think we aim. Whoa!
since we don't have a family representative here, we're having Cindy represent. We're here because uh, a friend now, Don Cole, who is the great-great-grandson of John Ivan Butterfield, got hold of myself and Art Kelly uh, early this year to try to help him get this headstone set on this grave. He died in, uh, he died April 10th, 1913, 101 years ago, buried in Toledo, Oregon. So a little bit of history about John Ivan Butterfield. His parents were born in England. They immigrated to Canada, and he was born in Canada. When he was seven years old, they immigrated to the U.S. and settled in um, Michigan. And I don't know much about his youth life, um, but when the Civil War came about, he joined the K Company of the 3rd Michigan Cavalry, and he served honorably in that unit. And then they moved here to Oregon uh, sometime in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and John Ivan Butterfield lived down on the Lower Select, and he had a homestead down there. Uh, during my research, I found a Butterfield Creek down there, which was ran through their property. Uh, it was proof that he was here in this area. His family, he had five boys and two daughters, I think. Uh, two of the sons are buried up underneath one of the big trees up there. Uh, Leonard, and I think it's Fred is the other one. But uh, John was a true pioneer, I think. <clears throat> but he also, was, I think he was a carpenter. He helped build boats and things like that. So he has a pretty, pretty good history here in Lincoln County. He died April 10th, uh, 1913, 101 years ago. And he was brought here. I'm not sure why he was brought to the Toledo Cemetery and buried here. And his wife is buried underneath the reef, really. She's right there, and we're going to try to find, get enough donations to get a headstone for her. That's the history of John Butterfield. <laughs>